Well, I think it all it goes back a long way. This really because when I was at school, I always wanted a job where I would create things. I always thought um, window dressing was fantastic in those days. No, no, but when I used to go to London and you used to go up at Christmas time and go to all the big stores, they'd always have these fantastic displays in their windows and I was always thought I'd love to do that. Well, of course, I never did. And I suppose in a way, that's how I took up flower arranging because I'm creating things all the time. Especially if you go in for competitive work and it's a special title. For historical gardens, for instance, well, then you'd have to read it all up, and that's the interesting part, really, is going into the history of things. Victorian lady, but then gardens. you see, we always had people in our house, house. I mean, it was What's never what, ever empty. What interested you in these because where well, we lived heroes, heroes was opposite a bus stop and opposite the really camp really gate, so I mean, um, people we were always why coming did I in choose it? and stopping with us. We never ever had well, an I empty just thought house. they would be interesting because we didn't because have central heating, I mean. They started, um, um, we were tougher, I think, in those and days. And you trend in a way, didn't you? just know? had one fire in the house and that was it. Because in those days, I mean, you I mean a hot bedroom like we have today. didn't really go out and do any. You'd wake up in the morning with all um, the windows frosted over. Manual work. Well, I suppose and, um, they didn't do manual work anyway. They had just, all these gardens. I suppose we were used to it. I don't suppose we thought it was Normally, Victorian ladies, when you stay indoors to do it paint today, you'd do the absolutely frozen. Embroidery. It was just a way of life. Lady like things. Code. The house They had code. not gardens there. The school was code. Uh, and they were mostly just used to it. Herbs. It Flowers for herbs for med medicinal I mean, the purposes. spring's lovely so because you've got all the, the growth and the flowers well, coming out. Well, mostly because they were think, all in, in, in um, goodness, that awful winter's and gone. They, yeah, and, and the monks get nice warm. And warm. Um, grew all the herbs. planting things again. You would go to the monk... In the summer is be healed. Probably in this garden's not the best but time of year because the gardens it dries they out also so quickly. Dry their plants never really close over row the little well. hedges unless it's a very wet summer. As well. Probably years then ago when people the autumn the colours are lovely wouldn't have street lighting for example you wouldn't be electric oh, would you? So you'd always have to do your gardening the with the face of lovely. the moon. Um, yellow um, and red. It's totally different then. You wouldn't have weather but forecast. But then it's a bit sad because you know it's going You'd to get cold again. You'd have to go out at night and look like at the moon and say, oh, there's <laughs> rain around that moon. It's going to be raining well, within the next 24 hours. it's more hour. interesting, this garden. I mean, it's not they, flat, they were it? much more into a flat garden. They can be boring. You have to put lots of the elements, corners in today. into it. Because um, that's how they make uh, different knew what to do in the garden, vista, didn't make your eye carry on to the well, end of your garden. Looking at the weather and the moon and the sun. But with this one, you go around a corner and you find something. going to come in. Or, say, for instance, when the seagulls come in, I always notice that it means the stormy weather coming. Various things. So probably they won't really got any sort of things like that. They keep going. It signifies that. something, but I can't remember. No, but I can't honestly. Not really. But the yeah, Victorians had them. When I can, all flowers weather permitting. Signified something if you weeks of rain, sent your you girlfriend a rose you to or um, mad and do as much as you different can. various it's flowers that signified in the garden that is just like beautiful for two but months I can't a year remember and absolutely now. I'd have to get a sort of for ten months. You want something always out in mm -hmm. flower or interesting. Um, well, I think my yeah. first gardening. The only thing I can remember about lilies because I did an essay on um, I ever the did. Um, candy and Granny candy used to say that when I was a lily. three, I no, went to candium. Madonna the lilies next to where we no, live. I picked one of the tulip heads. But the um, and she was terribly embarrassed. That went back to Byzantine times. I think that was the first garden. And the Romans are took. reputed to have and brought then it over. Grew old, I just always lived and, in the garden. Um, and then they used the um, bulb to rub on their sore feet. Didn't have time to do the flower garden. So they said the Romans so could have brought it over with them, and planted it. So if I they used any flowers, I had to go and grow my own. And then so um, I I came the to the medieval garden. times. And he always did that. And um, vegetables, and I used to do that when I was still at school. Italian painters and, day, but and such. They started putting the Donna they Lily into all the religious paintings to represent the, um, the, the um, Virgin Mary. Mary. It's the the job got to get done. They've got, they got, got too tall. Yeah, I had to do that for my sitting guild. And I did that because when I was growing up, in Auntie Polly's garden, she had masses of them. Oh, they yeah, grew yeah. 
wild there. Really? Yeah. And they always used to be very, very tall. So I was only about four or five then. And um, they've got this lovely perfume. I mean, it would take years for a, a plant to flower.